In this video tutorial, we're going to talk about the new use of splitters and their improved functionality in Adapt Builder 2019. And this applies really to Floor Pro, Matte, and Adapt SLG when generating design strips in either of those programs. We'll go ahead now and we're going to open a model in Adapt Floor Pro. This model has several columns, um, also walls. We're going to go ahead now and just model some random openings just to give some variety and complexity to the model. So I'll use the opening option here. And let's go ahead and generate our design strips. Now design strips can be modeled now from floor design and we're going to use the dynamic editor versus manually uh, inputting the support lines. So in the dynamic editor, before I do this, let me go ahead and increase the size of these columns. I'll just um, select by type column and then I'll modify the selection. Under column, I'm going to change this to just 24 square. That makes this a little easier to generate these construction lines. So under floor design dynamic editor, we're going to use the construction um, or the support line wizard for this slab. And we'll go ahead and just re, uh, create our construction lines. We have additional videos that show how, how these can be applied um, in terms of uh, beams, walls, and just more usage uh, for the wizard itself. So I'm going to snap near the endpoints of the walls just to create a line there. Here, I'll go ahead and snap near that opening edge. Notice we may want to trim that. It's not required, but something that you may want to do as a user. Um, I'll just snap through that column. Go ahead now, and I can create the X lines. If you want to pick this wall as a support location, you need to snap on the wall. Otherwise, it would pass through the wall. At a point there. And then on the bottom line, I'm going to go ahead and bend that up. So these are our X direction lines. We'll switch over to Y direction and we'll work on the Y direction now. In the longitudinal direction again, I'll snap near the end point of the wall. I'll bend this support line over. Here I'm going to pass through the wall just as an example. And then we'll go up through this column. I'll terminate that there. I'll have a line like so. Okay, and then we'll do one more line from there. And here I could have taken that up, but I'll just stop that right there. So let's go ahead and close this. I'm going to isolate the X direction first. Now in previous versions of the program, we would have to place uh, splitters at various locations that we'll point out now. All right, so in version 18 and prior, we might actually have to have a splitter you know, along this path. It might chain down along there and come down to here. We would have to have a splitter there. If we wanted to bound off the opening, I would have to close this with splitters. This would probably be stretched out and something like this. Again, splitters here. We might have splitters along this opening and on both sides. And this requires a lot of input of splitters. Um, and then we would have to do the same thing, obviously, in the Y direction. So in this version, the program can properly interpret the location of the points and um, it we don't require any splitters to bound off endpoints or start points of support lines. So here, all I'm going to do really is just drag this to the opening edge. I may want to, I may want to impose that uh, modification. I might take this and just move it back to the opening edge. It's not required, but um, those are a couple of changes we might create here. If I generate the design cuts now, I'll isolate now the X direction, and we can see how. Uh, these uh, design strips are output. So we'll turn on the tributary regions as well. We could also go to reports, design strips in the X direction, and this would show us the hatched view of these design cuts. So in this case, 
there's a few things we want to point out aside from the proper location the start and the end edge of the tributaries we can see that some of these strips actually cut into openings that in and of itself is not a problem as long as the cut does not exit the opening start and exit the opening this will still um, behave just fine the program would only integrate over the length where we actually have concrete but in some cases a user may want to limit and let's say bound off so we have no design tributary going through this opening or this opening and so on so this is where splitter usage in the new version comes into play um, we'll go ahead now and back in floor design I'm going to delete the design strips and I'm going to use X splitters and I really just have to place a splitter where I want the program to terminate the edge of the support line so I could put a splitter there for example I could put one here I could do them right on the opening if needed so here I can turn on my snap tools let me turn off snap to nearest and I might go from edge to edge that's a little more precise again edge to edge or maybe I want to limit this one at this location and this location on the opposite side for example and let's say that location so that's the input of my splitters it's much more flexible very easy to put the splitters to impose boundaries for the strip panels and the edges of those panels if we go now to generate the strips in the X direction this is now the outcome this gets broken off at the splitter on both sides you can see there again here's our splitter there we have this tiny void only because we put a splitter above that opening so it extends only down to that splitter and the same thing here and there so this input is very very quick very easy in the other direction I'll go now and work on the Y direction let me turn off my um, X direction support lines and splitters I'll use Y and I'm just going to leave my support lines as is here so we're going to go ahead now I'll create a splitter right there and we're going to use the edges of the openings in this case here we may want to move that you can select backspace to undo um, if we wanted to bound off let's say this tributary there this tributary there and then I might want to add another splitter so I'm not going to use the wizard I'll just create a Y uh, excuse me another support line a Y support line there and let's do one more splitter on this side and then we're done we can go ahead and generate the strips and review the outcome so now we have this bound off here right there this stretches from splitter to splitter this stretches over from splitter again to splitter this one here is actually cutting beyond the splitter you can see these rays actually shoot all the way out here so we're going to go ahead and and modify that um, I'm going to stretch this splitter I'm going to actually move vertically up and down okay and I'll just regenerate the strips that kind of shows the nice flexibility in use of the splitter I could have my strips turned on adjust the splitter just quickly regenerate the same thing is going on right up here so I may want to customize that I'll say I want to stretch that up maybe I want to straighten that out for example regenerate use my visibility tools to quickly um, isolate the Y direction and this becomes my outcome of design strips if you have any questions about this new feature please contact support at adaptsoft.com